Hey, what's up? It's your girl Candy G, Evolve Nation, and I'm here with the horny pastor. Sure. As you all know, he's got his new tune out, A Bag of Chat. Now tell us about that. What's up? Mmm. That song is one ad song where catchy and nice and have some ad lyrics in it where people say, Pastor, your body not you would. We want to know what the song exactly. Well, the lyrics are very interesting. That's definitely very controversial. Like, break down the lyrics. Break. Tell us about that. Okay, the lyrics. What inspired the song? The song inspired from one morning by um, quarantine time. I look on Instagram, see something. And see a man say, "Madam, you can dance all bunty," and I just click and say. I calculate up the additions and see if it add up or it never add up in my brain at the same time. So instantly, I have one of them palia, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I just draw feet and a pen uh, with a linger about somewhere. But when I see it now, oh, you see it there? Watch it. It's just always a linger. I'm going to start right. Style of your song, but but one line kind of funky. You know what I mean? Say you what? I'm going to one song. The song bad is a shame. The youth song bad and full of flow. Flow of like something, 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 something on me. Bad. But as I said, I discovered one bad line in the song and I decided to write a 16 bar. And then 16 bar become another 16 bar and a hot chorus. And... But Pasta, mm -hmm. one thing I do have to say here yeah, is I've always known you from me knowing you as the DJ Horny Pasta. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had bars like that. Like, mm -hmm. tell us about that transition, like mm. the history of, you, of your music. It wasn't even a transition, you know. I I am I am first and foremost I am an artist. When I was a little boy in Jamaica, we used to have my sister send a cassette, double tape cassette for me. So I used to play sound, play play cassette and say I'm a sound man. But really and truly, I am an artist first and foremost. Forward to England, decide to hone my skills, my craft, whatever. Then start to give record and, and DJs my songs. I wasn't getting no strength. I get a few strength from Whatever a couple of people. Whatever was this in? South London, Brixton side. My couple of Era? Yeah. What time? Um, between fun? 2000 and... Uh, I came here 2002 and really st writing my lyrics them in at them time that till 2007, I really mm -hmm. started to go road. Come, I feel like I'm ready. So I start to go road now, encourage me. My brother, Jamario, encouraged me a lot when he came from Germany and spent some time with me. I said, your body know you go on a road. So I did it. X-Man Library, can big up yourself. So the transition was, I, I, I'm always an artist. But then because I wasn't getting the strength from the selectors, I decided to do radio and Genesis Radio and Metro Love Radio. Big up Wiki Waki. If you call him name, I ain't giving mm -hmm. the link. So the transition, I was always an artist. So the transition went to being a DJ. But I went successful in the DJ business because I didn't need the help of a DJ to help me as an artist. I am now a DJ on a radio station. Okay. Metroloveradio.com pick up everywhere mm -hmm. as a as an underground station. And then my style of being the horny pastor bust me out big. Everybody get to know me. But the artist thing in England, I'm I'm so I know I'm talented as an artist. And I'm talented. I try to be talented at everything I do. So I invest time, my effort, and. Were you doing the music when you was in Jamaica as well? Yeah, I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it on a professional level. I would just sit on my yard, write lyrics, and if the sound turned on down the road and we can't get a chance to get the mic, we try it because we see the bigger guys them doing it and they go places. Mm -hmm. Even my brother, I have a brother that live in Germany called Marlon B. He made me proud. He is in the biggest pop band in Germany and he bring the Jamaican flavor. So... All of them encouragement, they encourage me, say, yo, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so growing up, what kind of artists were you listening to that influenced you? The, 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 the earliest artist I can remember who influenced me is an artist who I feel so he's not even too like me right now. But he named Major Mackerel. Okay. Major Mackerel is an artist where, as a little youth, you have some youth where kind of thuggish. That I'm a nice guy, I'm a good boy. Come to the yeah. yard. The thuggy guy, them dingy, Harry Phillips and Archie, they live behind my house. Them always get the tape. And next man down the road, name Big Dread, they can jack up. 
him always get the tape them and you hear Major Maxwell them a DJ and Papa Sand them and Professor Nuts them and everybody you know mm -hmm. but Major Maxwell was my artist Professor Nuts too big up yourself you know all of them but Major Maxwell any mini mini <gasps> and in, 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 in DJ the lyrics and he goes <gasps> Like charisma and Yo, style. it's crazy, man. Yeah. That's, that's my artist right there. And then Ninja Man Bonte Killer. So singing you, melody. You mentioned um your issue with that artist's song which in, which um inspired you to write the lyrics for a bag of chat. Mm -hmm. So um who for you would you say is like equivalent to bounty in you know maybe there is none there is none here there is none that is equivalent in the sense of being a uk dance album there is none because there is no artist here that go around and clash artists and kill them mm -hmm. not we don't we don't let the aggressive it kills one bad but we have music so mm -hmm. lyrically there is no artist that go around and kill artists mm -hmm. in england because artists in england free to clash because some of them personal feelings they want to fight and your lyrics definitely did come with that kind of fire as well, you know. So where's that fire come from? That fire come from <laughs> my teacher in dance hall now. That fire come from a youth in Jow culture. Mm -hmm. Him and my teacher in a music. Enough people inspire, inspire me. Like my brother Marlon and Major Mark and other people inspire me. But Jow culture teach me. Yeah? So now the fire now, Jow culture is a clash artist. That kill off anything. In my young boy days when we were going on a fancy bar and, mm -hmm. you know, Black Lion and so fancy I fight, Papa Clarky, Jawu culture, kill artist. So me personally learned from him. Me and the proto J, me and him, me get to help put in a one word if him find my one word good enough. Mm -hmm. But me did it with him. Jawu culture right and him clash night and him bad and so... Me know how to kill artists. Or me know how to not disrespect the artist. Car. Would you be looking to clash any artists or would you want any outcome from that song? Alright. You see, with that song, yeah, I don't expect the artist to answer me. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't a diss song. I was correcting the artist. But the artist know my levels as well. And know say, if him answer me, there are two things about this. He know say, if him answer me, I'm a boss because he's famous. Mm -hmm. So if him answer me, me boss. Most of my fans them not be my fans. Right. Secondly, him can't manage me lyrically. He might have more fans than me, but him can't manage me lyrically. Drop us a freestyle. I'm not freestyle. Drop us a light lyric. Just <clears throat> I'm gonna write about 16 bars. Splurred out a year in 16 fast cars. We and 16 had Q is a par with 16 condoms to fight the sex war. One of us coming like about 16 stars. Show us where the over 16s are. You wonder why you write the song 16 far with the new thing we call it 16 bars. Yo, you can find it on 16 beats at the number one spot for more than 16 weeks. Yes, we be horny like 16 creeps touch street. 16 at girls we meet. <laughs> so back to what we're talking about now definitely lyrically talented there but what we've what I, um i caught from what you were saying now is um you had quite had challenges during your first hit of trying to come out in your career so Tell me a bit about that. Like, how did you, what kind of the type of challenges you faced and how you overcome them? The challenges I faced, we faced one of the challenges when I remember. I remember, we used to go to my studio and spend my money at the studio. Mm -hmm. And I never knew nothing about the, four, about the 8 bar and the 16 bar and the 12 bar. I mean, I spend money at the studio, and the time we get money, I can spend it. But the man them at the studio, I assume that they know about the bars, but they would never tell me. So that I won fight and my feet and my fine in the music. Big up Welchman and Dini Ranks. So you're saying like the lack of sh the sharing of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That was a fight. Next thing me never know about, me never know say cast to care. Me never know say when you give a, 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 a radio presenter your song you have to give money to. Me never did know that. Might be naive but I did never know. It's actually illegal. I, I agree it's illegal <laughs> but I never know. But this is Pirate Station as well. I never know. So when I get the real presenter them my song, I never give them no money. If I did, if I didn't know, I, did, I have money. 
So I give them money, but I never know. And the man has said to me, because it's a silent world. So what, you might hear him on your CD, and him not play a song. But you in yourself, some song good, and my song can play. But you do it on the same rhythm, them, where I go around. That's more of a culture that you'd see in Jamaica, you know, like when you're playing, but over here, you don't really. Yes, you know, it's a competition now. The man, they don't want nobody to bust around them, because they don't want nobody to hype like them, and they see the talent. But I'm not vexed with them because they were overcoming. So you said you faced challenges with the selectors as well? Yeah. So is that what you're referencing to? Mm-hmm. We face challenges with the, with the people that we can help you to get notice. Mm-hmm. So to the other artists out there that's trying to come up, mm -hmm. Explain to them how you overcame it and what they could do if they were faced with those challenges. I I start overcoming it in one way. I'm I I I I I am a transformer. I can transform into whatever I need to do to get me there. One way how I do it. First and foremost, I went in two thousand and in two thousand and six. I was on the bus going to um this place called. The arch is in Brixton. We got real African on the Monday. Sass arch in a Brixton because I think it was every Thursday night or I saw or Friday night. Whatever night it was, we used to go to the arch and we get the DJ. So on turn on, man, I spit lyrics. So every I was on the bus from North London going to South, spitting my lyrics in my headphone on the bus. One white man see me and say, him once, man, if you can spit like how me, I spit but on some garage and sit in the beats. So I start going to the studio. In him, Roger, Dodger, big up yourself, Roger. Roger, yeah. Go in studio. So, me start do every Tuesday night, me speak from Fiend Beat them. So, then me said to him, say, me and Jimario, you know, my little brother. Jimario! Straight up. Every Tuesday night, Fiend mm -hmm. Beats them. Every Thursday night, my beats, mm -hmm. dance hall beats. So, we end up with a CD called The Horny Church. The way I did the CD, I did the CD like the CD, like you're listening to a radio. Mm -hmm. The radio station is called. You're true to horny F them. We're believing. Let's talk and more fuck and music. And you have skits, some crazy skits. So I did that CD. So I get myself out there. But I was thinking radio. So then when I start thinking about radio more, can nobody not play me? But I still I sell the CD in the streets. Radio. Secondly, what I did. Because I think again, I'm one boss, you know. I want to eat food out of music. You're putting in the work. Yeah, I put in the work. I want to tell you something that's what I do. But God, Jamaica, I realize that I run my shit like bus master where I bus people at Jamaica. Where. Mm -hmm. But I realize that my money is not strong like that. Do you know what I do? I save up my money and buy a camera. And I decide to do a movie, see that? It named Consequences. Okay. The full movie, I want to add. But God, okay, Jamaica. that's a good look. Right. So you've doubled into a few different parts of the arts, yeah. basically. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's really. that's. Right. So you, and you this is how you overcome the, the, the fight. I may still not fully overcome it yet. But I make a movie because I think, how can I be in everybody's living room without Pierre and Mochette? Because we're selfing around. <laughs> <laughs> so I go movie. Then, in a, I mean, I said the whole of Jamaica, but I know my movie well known. I see it in America because it's America with me. But left it in America. It did Brazil. I said it in Brazil. It did Africa. Mm -hmm. So I some do and get myself in. I have a next one coming up. I'm training wheel as well, and then rapper crapper. I play the I play the villain in rapper crapper's movie War Roll Against Rapper. So, me I decide for us. Can you play my song? Can you play my song, please, man? Can you play my song? That's why I, I gotta say this before you come in. That's why when we go up on the radio, we endeavor to play the youth them song because we know the fight, we know the pain, and we know the we know the lack of exposure, and we know that encouragement, sweet and labor. So them tell me, say, Pastor, enough of them boys, I sang the song good enough. But me never did hear mine more and so. So the encouragement sweetened the labor. And big up to whoever, give me like a 20 pound or a 40 pound or a 50 pound. It's not a must, but it do help. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to know what we're going to do with this guy. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so... You like you said you've dabbled into all these different parts of the arts. You're doing these movies. So what what else is there for you to do? Like what what is the future hold for Horny Pastor? 
All right, what I want to do next now, right now, your sister may have, may have pressure the, the lyrical part because everybody with up on the radio to listen to the radio to pass. You have, a, you have a more invest in your career, your career, your musical career. So, really and truly, may I do that still, you know? But may I pressure that right now because I have an ad song where I grow in the place and people love it, and the chorus is so catchy, and the lyrics are so potent. And I pride myself in lyrical skills. So, may I pressure that part of my career right now. I go YouTube, me I go Facebook, me I go Instagram when I'm ready. So I pressure all social media. And um, what more I want to do next? <laughs> this has been long in my brain. Long in my brain. I want to do a thing called the Horny Scripture. I want to do an audio book. Okay, that's interesting. I want to do an audio book called the Horny Scripture. And preach. I want to do it as close I want to simulate it as close to how the Bible works. As I have, may have certain words where when we used to play a dance hall or made up on the radio, we give them certain little like hallelujah, church sister, your legs are the post and your panty be the pearly gates, you dare to pass the one to penetrate his niece of fornication over masturbation. It says here in the scripture, I mean I have a little empty Bible. Mm -hmm. I have a book where it's like it's, I saw it this earlier. Yeah. Here we go. It says here in the scripture, look. She that fornicates on a regular basis shall be flexible like matrix. I'm going to go and find the next part. Oh, yeah, sorry. So do you reflect this part of your persona in your music? Yes. Yes. If you should hear some of my songs, especially the one called The Horny Church. You will see why I'm called a horny pastor because I wasn't called a horny pastor. And we had a crew named Born Horny Crew. My name was Boston or Bus Juice in Pretty Girls Got. But the crew disintegrated a little bit, then everybody started calling me Born Horny. Then I went to a studio in Mama Savannah. We have a studio oh, yeah. Savannah and DNT and the engineer, we name again, in Drive the Red BMW. I can't remember his name though. I still remember it. But he was having a rhythm, he had a rhythm there. And, and the rhythm of the phrase and I noticed elephant man tried to always go with the with a phrase in the beat so I said I is your horny pastor inviting y'all to my church I just love the way you look there sister in that there mini skirt and the world stood the up everybody laughed so that's the, that's the word of work the first line in recording the horny pastor, the, that name. So that's the image that you just stuck out for yeah. yourself. Yeah, so when we get the CD you now, in 2006, when we got the CD, say, the horny church, it was born horny, aka the horny pastor, from that song, the horny pastor, and invited to church. When we can't go to Jamaica now, and each way to the old, old place, and it go viral then, it got, it got CD roll. Because everybody mm -hmm. was du duplicating it and going yeah. all over the place. And I bring, I bring a lot of um, blank CDs as well. So everybody was coming to my yard to get CDs. So then everybody started calling me Honey Pastor now. The band Honey done with. And they started calling me Honey Pastor. So that's where the Honey Pastor name come from. So I really put it into my... That's where the condom come from as well. Mm -hmm. Normal pastor would wear a cross. But I'm Honey, so wear a condom. So I keep my image going. And this been doing. We've been doing it for more like 20 years. This this particular, I never left it. I feel naked. You know what I mean? A bit like his, his daddy came with the yeah. clock. Yeah, and, and yeah. Like, this yeah. is my thing. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So that's good. So your branding and branding is very important mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Especially with all the social media being like the main. And the young, the young marketing. girls, them, the young people, them like it. The young boys, them, and the young girls, them always say, "Yes, big man. Yes, big man. Respect." So, what do you feel that you're doing for your music? to impact young people because obviously they're the ones that's going to be listening to um me not me no say me a big man so me not really try run down um, and, and and the next thing about me and my music if me don't make it me still feel good still me just want to go and do what me i do me no say it passed my stage already you see me mm -hmm. me not in a new world a crazy world fantasy world it can still happen because it happened for older than me but me still I'm just having fun right now. If it happen, it happen. If it don't happen, me still I continue day after day. Cause me live music too long and do music too long. Me sleep a street. Me sleep in a club. Me sleep 
I sleep everywhere to get to do music. I sleep in a car. I stay with my friend. It's like how cargo sense they are 52 yard. Mm -hmm. I stay whole of South London to do music. Mm -hmm. People, people yard. And I respect all of them. How do you feel? How do you view the music culture in London today and like how everything is like in the dance hall? The dance hall is stagnant. The dance hall is stagnant. Because me, I got me there from 1992. Me there at Brixton from 1993 or 4, one of them here. So me know everybody, everybody know me, me do everything. Me there, me there. And me see man where I play a dance hall from them time there. Still I play a dance hall today. Mm -hmm. yes. Where the new youth them there. Every new youth will pop up in a this get fight out if you don't work with some boy. Talent no matter in a this. And me not depend on that. So me, me will always there when me there try my thing because me not friend boy. Um, and if you're hypocritical, me not in a nothing with you more. So me can be hypocrite too. But me is a free spirit. Me is a leo. Me is a lion. Me not roar unless a time for roar. Me quiet as a lamb. You never catch me out of road. When all I expect to them pile up in the lobby and I talk loud and all the most exciting story. You never catch me there. Because I'm, I can't talk loud unless I need to talk loud. It's a, I cannot help it. I'm quiet. People don't know me. Like when they see me, when, when somebody see me and talk to me in the street, it's a different man than get. They would have get the guy near Courtney. Mm -hmm. But then when they remind me, say, honey pastor, oh, yeah, hallelujah. I get back into my honey pastor cell, but I'm a very quiet man. When I don't need to talk, because I'm a Leo. I roar when it's time to roar, and I don't put up with, I want to be your friend, because you know what I think? I think that I can do it. Mm -hmm. I know that I can do it. And, if, and whatever I can't do, if nobody can help me, so be it. I, I will do without that. So, we just go and do my music and appreciate it. We hear a song come out. I'm going to like a line I song kind of in a reel. And we can't make a man. I have government in other music, too, you know. Me see myself as the, the woman I do this long. In other music, in a England. I have government of this, too, you know. So, when I see a man say something where nothing is said, or you claim something where he's entitled to, I feel say me a government. I feel say I can't say no, son. That's not right. I can say, yeah, man, that if spot on, brother. You see me? I mean, I feel, I mean, I mean, offense to no man. If a man take it offensive, me can't do nothing about your feelings. But me ungla, I highlight and emphasize and say, that line, not right. So you, you had your um, radio show that was very popular for like. And it was running for a while as well. It was mm -hmm. based in South London, right? What was that? Sea Lock Radio? First, it was Metro Love Radio. Oh, okay. com. When Metro Love had difficulties with my delivery, or I'm too controversial, or whatever it was. Then um, I. Tell us a bit about that. What happened there? <laughs> well, yeah, man, this is serious. Yeah, like with. Because <laughs> you said that your show was too controversial. <laughs> And a lot of other presenters get that issue. So how could you advise, right. you know, just right. share your story so you, you see, can help me, me, me not a boring person. Me is an eccentric, exciting, entertainer marking on my passport. Mm. Me listen the best and want to be either better or like them. So mm. me have a radio show now, it's a mad. I mean, I'm the honor pastor. The, the manager of the radio once told me that he got two complaints. I think we have thousands of listeners and the manager got two complaints. And he tried to bad me up and make me know say him now I'm here. No complaint. Now that is impossible. Me name the honey pastor. That is a complaint already. But at the same time, this brother named the honey pastor. If you have him on your radio, your radio is known as the hottest radio station. So any radio station I go have me on it, I go have the hottest radio presenter upon them station. It go without saying. Uh, when people like or dislike me, the honey pastor have the most listener. I don't know if anybody overtake me yet. But as long as you can't hear me, you are going to want to listen to the mad mania. So I make my radio show mad. It have to be. Then how me get people to listen to you, your radio? There's a million radio out here and a million presenters. Or you're going to listen to me. She likes to differentiate, you're saying. Basically. Of course. Yeah. Different. So my show, me not see nobody pass it yet. And then you went on to go into... So uh, uh, when I when I was left Metro Love, I went to Genesis. Then then I was approached by the City Lock owners, and um, they invite me over there. 
and I really took a little time because I'm very loyal and it took a time and um, because Genesis wasn't kicking at the time and there was a lull in um, the FM dial and the FM is very important to a radio presenter who want to keep relevant so I gladly took my training at Gen like Genesis was the first station I went on I took my training from Genesis I, I was even on WOW I was on many radio stations and then City Lock City Lock, I love it. I love the vibes. I love the people. The people them follow on the pastor. If them hear, if them know some over there, so them are come. And if they know some, yes, some of them are stay. I mean, I really hype with me, with me, and my thing because I know, me know my value and my worth in the entertainment industry. When me, when me used to get bookings in a dance hall, I am, I am, I am the man. My my segment is entertaining, laughter. I don't diss nobody in the dance. You know what? I want to do a quick little story where I get long. <laughs> the year 2000, I went to a dance. I was playing at my bridge in Marlon's family's New Year's Eve party. At that night, all of my friends and my brother Jamario was there at the party as well. But I got in a situation sick of talking on the mic. I played the song from Sprague Ben I was I was the young guy, so the big man them play. And then I get a chance to play now, record this. So the big man, them, I was hatting at the party. The big man come over to me and say, yo, oh, your last song, this, you know. So I say, yo, Pete Hurts. The big man say, the last song, this. So I pull it up and drop it again. Some boy can't get no girl if them no eat. So my mom ball out over there and say, no, I hear the song again. So I say, why, you eat hurt? So I say, right, did. Anyway, I done playing, gone as low and cool off. I'm hot, I'm cool off. Me want carry those slums. One knife on my throat, one knife on my belly. Mm -hmm. You see me? It's a New Year's night. I mean, I first man, I got dead for 2000. See, I want something when I step on the microphone. So the man said to me, say, that I'm my brother in the tick so like a giant, and I can kill one of them easy. I'm a friend them in there too, but nobody can see me but me right now. One knife on my belly, and one knife on my neck, and I feel sharp. Good. I said to the man, tell me, I can't kill me do wrong, and who want to kill me now? So I said, first of all, brother, Z, I am sorry. Come and it and find out how we are this in this. I said, first of all, brother, I'm sorry about that, you know. Secondly, if you never say what you say, I say it in a calm voice. If you never say what you say, then me wouldn't say what me say. And secondly, at 2000, you know, brother, I'm going to want the war, you know. And they move them knife, I'm going to learn a very big lesson. Never you offend people. And the microphone. So from that day me learn. So when I go dance now and play. Nobody no offended with me. Everybody get them big up. All when me not like you, you get your big up. Cause I find it's enough selector go there and then pint out people and diss them. I mean know if them if that alone them can't say, but me full of words. So I make sure I'm not diss people. So that are my secret. Even though I go on bad on the radio, when I go dance. I know so everybody pay their money not to get disrespected. Yeah. I'm, I'm a professional, you know. But I'm entertaining. I you know I go and mother teach me good. Well, it sounds like you've been through a lot in, in your time in the entertainment and you're very, like I said, you've, your skills. All right. You know, and I'm entertainment. So, and you've got a good hot song at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. So if people want to hear your song, Find out more information about you. Where can they get your, that information? Man, me just me just want to say this before me get them information. The way my experience in that music in England, me and I perform at nearly every top club in the West End and nearly in England. Where I perform by myself or with somebody, we tour with Vibes Cartel, Wayne Marshall, War Twenty One, Baby Shamrock, and maybe more. Me, me, do, me do nearly everything what we can do in England. We can do more, you know. But we do a lot. You see me? Cafe de Paris, we did it with it. When it got Hippodrome, we did it. China White, 10 rooms, everywhere. We do all right. By the way, you can find me on YouTube as the Horny Channel. You can find me on Instagram as the Horny Pastor, the Horny Church, Bad Twin 7, and the Horny Mobile. Um, Facebook Courtney Wallin 
fan page the horny pastor we have a next one called pastorific and maybe we have one called the horny church we don't know just google my name d-a-h-o-r-n-y p-a-s-t-a-r pastor horny no e not the d-a d-a-h-o-r-n-y p-a-s-t-a-r and you'll find all that information on the bit, bottom of the interview as well. So, Horny Pass, you're going to give us a listen of your song, right? No, I'm going to get it a cappella, you know. No, I can't give them a listen of a fight underneath this. I'm going to drop the video at the end. Okay. Style of your song, but but one line kind of funky. You say you are the UK dance all bunt. Your explanation is needed, so please give it promptly. I may have about 16 bars for funky. The line sounds sick, but the character not fit. Please compare yourself to a different artist. Man, glad say your boss youth and all that shit, but you are claim. Achille that you don't deserve it. Look how much artists have warning. You never bust one. Artists with this circular clash none. And now you are the UK grown god general, Mr. Cross and angry. Miserable man where bust call young Gaza. Busy and bling daga scare them be a bisham Kaledo Ayara. I could have mentioned like countless other uncle person them no bust a bean man baby mad. Boom. A baga chat 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 a Yes, that's a bag of chat from Horny Pasta. Big up yourself, Pasta. Thank you, Sister Kelly. Yeah, and make sure you go log on and subscribe to the Horny Pasta channel where you can find out more information, more videos, interviews conducted by the Horny Pasta. Please leave some and, offering. And his music. Yes, so stay beautiful and stay blessed, people. Big up yourself, Candy G. Evolve Nation, keep evolving. Sure. Less.